Welcome back to Zoo Sicily. Ah, finally, good to say that again. Today, we are going to branch out in a totally new area. Here you see the final result. If you're interested how we got there, stick with me. It's gonna be a fully loaded, exciting episode of uh, rearranging quite a bit of the um, original lion area and also opening up into a totally new area. So that's today's episode of the hyena habitat. Now, this is a habitat that um, in this kind of form I haven't done uh, yet. So uh, it's very exciting because um, I looked into a lot of projects that other YouTubers and other creators on Planet Zoo do um, who are a lot better in terms of realism and realistic builds than I am um, and they spend even more time researching their stuff uh, in, you know, to, to be precise, they spend a trillion, bajillion hours of research before they build a, well, 100% accurate remission of what is actually in zoos. Um, I very rarely do this because, you know, my first focus is on creating and letting my mind and ideas roam free, but still I want to make this zoo over here believable. That said, I'm not going to go um, into that kind of detail as for example Haribo or Caesar or you know the likes of especially the people from Bro Nation. Um, who are insanely great at it and um, I took some inspiration from them because uh, there are some really cool ideas about how to you know shape viewing areas in order to create certain effects uh, that the guests are in a full immersion rather than you know something uh, that you would totally see immediately that this is a habitat rather than the actual nature. So this is over here one of the attempts I had over here to make the hyena habitat as open and spacious um, as it possibly can be and at the same time it's not as big as it seems simply because of that ditch as you can see on the left hand side over here. However the ditch is not viewable from any position for the guest so the guest position is always um, a plain field so it looks like as if the lion habitat merges with the hyena habitat which in terms of security and stuff uh, wouldn't be the best idea but it does work pretty well and um, there are a lot of zoos in real world that do these kind of things um, I gotta admit though that the uh, way the ditch is done is not fully correct um, like technically the animals could still cross over I would need to put some more security measurements into that ditch. I might do this later um, because I have decided that as soon as we are able to do another live stream, I will live stream Zoo Sicily and fully focus on all the backstage areas. You will see in the real time part, we do have quite a bit of backstage to fill. Um, and I think it's going to be an exciting episode if we do this with a focus on making it really, you know, usable. But at the same time, maybe we, we can put some raccoons in there. I thought about that, like having raccoons in the backstage areas as if they were just there. Um, even though it doesn't make that much sense in Sicily. Um, maybe just another animal, I don't know. I just like the fact that potentially we could have something, uh, some some life in the backstage area, you know. I have certain other ideas as well, but um, I gotta have to explore them first. Yeah, you can see I'm going with a very... Um, classical Roman inspired like Roman architecture inspired uh, fence design uh, to kind of build upon the uh, the half dome or like the amphitheater we have down there uh, this is this is something you know to just kind of keep a coherency uh, or coherency I should say and then at the same time making it look really cool and also secure for the guests making sure that there are some very big you know boulders in between and stuff like that so to ensure that if the hyena go into that ditch down there they have no chance to you know climb up but then uh, we also need to use some decals over here uh, this is an area where I already used the decals which is uh, pretty nice it just really makes these things look so much more realistic and so much more nice uh, I have to use them on that building we are doing in the second part of the video uh, because uh, I haven't done this quite yet but the building isn't finished by any means so just a spoiler ahead uh, today's building will be only the outside you've seen that on the screenshot it looks kind of cool but um, since this this build overall took me quite a lot of hours um simply because at the moment you know as you know we are about to move houses so we are only like a couple of weeks like six weeks maybe we stay in that house i'm recording from right now and then we do our move into our house which i'm currently and even after this recording, I will hit the road, go over there and uh, keep destroying what is still left uh, to be destroyed. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually going to take out a bathroom today. Um, I have already taken out the other bathroom the other day. So um, lots of work to do. And then in two weeks time, our workers come in and uh, hopefully do uh, everything right again. You know, put the walls in, put the 
paint on the walls and put the cables in and put everything in place. Uh, it's, it's you know, it's a huge organizational chaos. And uh, as you can tell from all the delivery issues we have on the global market right now, not everything will work out and so it's a lot of compromises that we have to go into and um, simply just takes a lot of my time and my energy and this is why I just simply can't do as much for Planet Zoo and YouTube in general at the moment as I wish to. Um, however, one thing that is positive, it just allows me to have a lot more ideas because, you know, I, the, the urge to play is there the whole time. And so sitting in the car for so long allows me to think about all the projects. And yes, I do. I, I do sit in the car and think about these projects. I do think about work as well, by the way, but um, in, in a very positive way. Like I, you know, as always, like I'm also in a creative environment for work. So ideas don't pop up uh, when they are asked for they do pop up whenever they think it's right to pop up and um, that often doesn't happen in uh, in the workspace but it does you know for me personally it does happen very often under the shower but also in the car and on the road in general and being outside and stuff like that the same happens for planet zoo and so i have all these ideas in my mind i've got so many ideas also for other games but it's just simply not having the time also for those of you who like the minecraft series don't worry, it's not stopped, just as a little heads up. Um, we changed to the Java edition again. Um, that caused a, 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 a you know, a bit of a problem with the world. We had to rearrange certain things, but we'll be back soon and then reveal what this whole project is all about. Now, speaking of the project, um, we have to talk about this building over here. And especially, uh, I was exploring a different type of uh, building for Sicily. I have one more bigger architectural style left. Um, it doesn't really necessarily fit in that area. It has to be something else and um, it's going to be used for a house and I'm very very excited to build that house in the future. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be in the next couple of episodes but it's definitely going to be a house for some aquatic animals. That's kind of a little spoiler and the architectural style is going a bit more into the Piemont type of style. Um, so uh, yeah, really interesting, really, really interesting. I do love this quite a lot. Um, and the style is really intricate and really hard to build. So it's definitely something that takes another bajillion hours of time. So uh, it's not going to be happen tomorrow, but uh, you know, I have that on my list and we will do that next. I'm still insanely happy how much you guys uh, support this project and how, how much you're loving this project. I do recognize all the support and it's really, really cool to see all of all of your positive comments and it's just like super, super, super well received. And I, I love the fact that it is. And this is why I try to move forward carefully with the project to really do it justice and not rush it. Just really being focused um, to make it all fit together because I really think we have a, a big chance to deliver a project which is even better than Yosemite Valley was. And um, you know how much I loved Yosemite Valley and you guys apparently did too. So yeah, big thanks to all of you uh, being so much into this project and if you are as always um if you haven't subscribed by the way uh, you you better do so because then you don't miss out on new Sicily episodes as you know the youtube algorithm just not always gives you the videos and especially if there is a dude like me who eventually has like a week or two of a you know content drain then the algorithm is like okay well he's gone he's gone i'm not not gonna put you any videos on your front page anymore uh, that legit is no lie um imagine if you if you have a behavior, as I have sometimes too, um, to not subscribe to a channel, but you still like the content, usually what YouTube does is if you watch one or two videos, you have them on, the, on your front page anyways. Um, so you don't need the ping, you don't need to, you know, the notifications, because whenever you go to YouTube to watch YouTube, you have those videos on your front page anyways, and you want to watch them. However, YouTube is also putting a factor in, which is obviously the factor of time and um, the news value of a video. So that means um, the lesser content I have in a certain amount of time, uh, the lesser the chance that I will be at your front page if you're not subscribed. And um, so my, obviously because that's still a hobby for me and I do this as like a side thing, um, my very inconsistent uh, schedule leads to the fact that especially the people who don't have a subscription uh, won't see my videos as regular as they can. And this is why you guys keep asking where the new videos are, despite the fact they're already there. It's just like a little bit because of the YouTube algorithm, how it works. So if I would have like a perfect schedule of like three videos a week, every Friday, Sicily, blah, 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 um, then this wouldn't be that big of a deal because then the YouTube algorithm 
just puts it on the front pages and there you go. Um, but, you know, I just can't deliver that at the moment, um, which is totally fine. You know, that's life. It's, uh, you know, as long as I don't, don't do this full time, I think there's also no urge to have that, um, you know, target to be as consistent as possible. I mean, I want to be as consistent as possible with the videos in general, but, you know, keeping schedules with so much going on in life is, like, pretty much impossible. So, um, that's that, just as, like, a little idea. This, by the way, over here was something of my uh, favorite things I did over here. Uh, another idea that came to my mind under the shower. Um, I, I finished the shapes of the building the other night, and then I made a little break, um, and the next day I went into building, I figured how cool it would be to have like a little sneak peek from that uh, terrace uh, in front of the building uh, into the actual uh, hyena backstage area. I thought that was a cool idea if they go down. As you can see, I'm also putting down some shops, a toilet and stuff. Um, again, little spoiler, we don't do anything internally in this building. The interior design will be done in another episode uh, because there will be like a little bit of a special for the other side as well. Really excited to bring this all to you. I, I just have so many ideas for this area and the next, the next bit we are going to do is so cool. I I just want to say it, but I can't. It's it's going to be really, really, really cool. I have such a nice idea uh, which fits this area so, so well. And um, it, it's going to be also... Um, yeah, we, we will have a little spoiler in the real-time part. I'm not telling you which animal, but uh, I think you can... I think you can guess if you think about it pretty nicely at the end of the episode, uh, you will figure out which animal we have. And then you can put this in the comments down below, by the way, um, because that's going to be interesting if you are uh, guessing the right animal, which we're doing next episode. Yeah, um, it's really, really cool how all these different styles, this is, these Sicily styles work together. Um, I definitely have to get more... Um, not clumsy is not the right word. Uh, I, I think I can be a little bit less straight and a bit more organic in the types of builds because that's something i saw in a lot of inspirational pictures that you know the ellis and stuff there's a lot going on cluttered is maybe the word um because that's how sicily also is um sometimes shaped and this kind of also sparks the beauty in it it's not all perfect you know it's not all perfectly straight or in the right angle or blah 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 um it's it's really nicely organically formed the alleys just merge through these buildings and then the buildings are connected with like certain different angles to each other um as i already tried to do with this building over here um but you can do so much more and I, wa I also want to have like a little bit of an alley at some point with a couple of buildings, maybe having some uh, exhibits in there and so on. Uh, but this is again something rather for the future. The next episodes will still be focused on a lot more natural habitats and um, <clears throat> potentially we are also going to continue with the scheme of more African area, uh, animals. But that's something we have to decide upon uh, going forward because as I said already at the beginning of this project, I don't want to limit myself to certain regions because there is a danger in falling into the trap of making this more like a work rather than a hobby and something that I have fun with. And if I feel like that the animal that I want to put in next is not really giving me the ideas, I shouldn't do that because that's kind of keeping me from delivering something great. And this is the reason why I still leave it totally open which area I'm going to do next. However, that said, for the next episode, this is already fixed. We are going to stay in this area um, simply because I have a super idea that continues very well with this whole area here. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a look at this uh, with the real time, but I'm super excited to bring this to you. And you can also tell that this garden over here uh, continues with the overall style. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with the lion area. It's still not 100% what I want. There are certain ideas I have in mind how to go on with this, um, but yeah, we'll have to see that. Maybe also in the live stream we can debate a bit better. Sometimes it's just better to have people around that keep commenting uh, in, in real time, you know. Uh, also, I tried a couple things here to bring in a, uh, a staff member's door. Something I want to ramble about, I'm not going to do over here, but I definitely need two gates in a habitat. It's just so annoying to always have one gate only. It's super annoying. Uh, but yeah, so that's that with the time lapse. By the way, you have seen my voice is on almost back. Uh, really good stuff. But um, yeah, let's use that voice in the real time part as well because we're almost done with the time lapse. And in a couple of seconds, uh, I'll talk to you as the real time Rudy. So see you after the cut. Enjoy. We are starting uh, in the real time part and we are just here in the butterfly alley as you can tell uh, there are some butterflies flying around and we come up the hill now a um, couple of things have changed uh, the path has been raised quite dramatically so this one has been a, uh, a raised 
little thing in the beginning, uh, uh, you know, but now it's actually on ground level. Um, the reason for that is basically to get a better view into the amphitheater from over here. Oh, look at that. We just have to keep putting some stuff down. Um, I think the view from over here is really cool. So you can really tell that there is like this huge area for the lines uh, left. It looks even bigger than it is because back there there is nothing, but it looks like as if it's going to continue over here. It's like a little trick again. Um, Eben was actually the one to poke me um, towards that. As you can tell, I tried my best to hide. You really have to stand over here to see the ditch, so it's not meant to be seen. So from over here you have a wonderful view. Uh, these stones are meant to keep the line from going uh, very close to that um, glass, but obviously Obviously, it's security glass. And then if you continue our way, you can see you can't really look to the left. You get a couple of sneak peeks, you know, you see the wonderful boulder, you see some trees. But this is um, made to make sure that you don't see the um, area. And now you can see this is where you can see the hyena already. Oh, look at that. It's running around. You do have the building in the backside. You've got the balcony over here um, just to spark the excitement already for this area so that you really want to go there. Everything leads to that building. People seem to be also very excited about this area. And if you look here to the left, I mean, it's um, from over here. You can't really tell too much that it's a ditch. It's not the best overview, but it looks like one habitat still. Um, so if you zoom in a little, uh, it could be just like a couple of stones lying in here. But there's going to be in another perspective which is even better than that so if we go further my god it's going to be crampy over here everyone wants to see the new animals um so if you go over here to this wonderful side and then uh keep here where there is like a little sign in the future and you do stand over here there's almost no way to tell that there is a ditch so it looks like everything continues into the other habitat and i really like the idea it's it looking like if it's really really big it's look like the hyenas can run over there and just enjoy their time in the other habitat and eventually when the lines come up you've got both animals in view which I think is really cool we've got like a couple of ruins in here um, something that you guys wanted to see anyways uh, I I tried this is something I didn't record I tried to make some ruins like you know um, uh, skeletons and stuff but I just didn't feel it it did not really click with me um, maybe we have to do something else with this because like you guys commented that skeleton stuff could um, really you know work but uh, I, I might actually focus on are you going to <clears throat> um, so yeah really have to think about that but yeah you can tell there's like the backstage building trying to really hide as much as I can with the nature as well making sure you can't see too much backstage you can sit down here actually Oop, there you go sitting down have a good view here and uh, you know see people checking out the animals stand up again uh, a very decent little um, you know a very decent little area that uh, we have some planters in and you know just making sure that everything oh look at that balloon uh the, the, the you know the little shop does work already and then the higher <coughs> the higher you get um you have another beautiful view of this area um you know getting a bit of a different angle to the habitat seeing a bit more of the back area so i have to do something about this transformer you know this is kind of open right now and then you obviously also have the view into the nature in the back i think it's really cool now you really made it up to the hill uh you you're granted with this beautiful view and then you go into this building um, very low building and that was intentional just making sure that something like this in Sicily is pretty normal because these buildings are rather old and people have been smaller and I gotta have to put down some barriers here and there uh, so people don't clip through all these things um, yeah I haven't done this yet but uh, this is something I have to focus on in the future again interior isn't done even though this looks kind of cool with the skylights already um, but yeah so that's that and then you can go over here to the balcony and get an even better view from over here. And this is the only area where I do see that there's a little ditch in here, maybe, but it's uh, it's also very subtle, so not you don't see that much. And then you also have this cool little view down here into the backstage area. And you know, imagine they are lying down here, or so you can really tell this. Uh, gotta have to make like a little fence here so that don't, people don't do that. What I'm doing right now, uh, because this is not meant to be a balcony to walk on so yeah that's that and now it's time to fly out of this mode and give you a bit of a better overview because we have to see what's happening next year so you can see the footprint of this entire area isn't really that big so uh, i think it really fits in very nicely and um, one thing i wanted to do is to go on with a little bit of a building style like that so as i told you guys at the beginning we want to um you know go with all the um 
you know, with all the ways um, into this central area where people can walk around. But the rest of the zoo should be more like a straight tour. Um, so that means we will continue with this, uh, you know, route over here that goes next in here and then do, does like a swoop in uh, turn through this area. Not entirely sure how I do this. I'm also not entirely sure if I will fill all of that because it's a huge plateau to fill. Um, and the zoo is already actually quite big but um this is that and i might also have some nature just here i also can imagine just having that cliffside over here being nature rather than the actual zoo and just having some viewing platforms or so um but the next habitat is going to be located over here that's already one of the teasers i can actually you know pave that out so you guys have an idea where that is so we are going to have the habitat basically here i'm not sure how big it is going to be and the pathway is going to be lead somewhere like so through here you know and um, maybe we're gonna have like a little bit of a, pl a plaza being here and then it's going to be followed back into this area so I'm not sure what kind of habitat we put in here but this is meant to be where the future pathway is going uh, definitely keeping that a bit bigger we we do want to go bigger to avoid some crowding and stuff. So something like this is going to happen in the next episode. Um, and I can already tell you that this is going to be opened. We have got a viewing from inside of the building. Uh, just making... Oops, I didn't want to pause the game. Uh, where's that? There you go. Um, and then we just fly in here real quick. So this side is going to be opened. I mean, we have the shops over here, but we still have a little viewing opportunity on that side and maybe even branching out with this plaza a little. Not sure. Or we are going to have like a little staircase going up that, uh, you know, up that area on top. So maybe giving them like a terrace. I have no idea what exactly it's going to be, but I have a certain idea what type of animal is going to go in here. And um, you can also comment down below. Um, if we should follow the african scheme because you know we've got the hyenas we've got the lions we've got uh, meerkats and art walks down here this is more like as we told about talked about quite a bit the australian area with the wombat the koala and the platypus and you know butterflies are butterflies and then yeah this is again maybe some african area who knows but this is that and i really have some ideas what to put in here but uh you can also comment what you think about it. And that's that. Really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Let me just also zoom back into the area that we just did. Ah, look at that. It's looking cool with the people roaming around. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. I certainly did enjoy making this quite a lot. Um, sorry if that took a little longer, but that's just reality right now. And if you don't want to miss out on the next episodes and you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. We are moving closer to the 80,000 subscriber goal again for this year for 2023 I want to reach 100,000 and you guys can help me out by subscribing to the channel it's totally for free um, and uh, you know you get information whenever there's a real video for me popping up really hope you guys are in for that thank you so much for your ongoing support I wish you guys still a very good start into the new year and um, stay safe and I talk to you in the next one